Giovanni has had 2,065 women. Add to that Salina, which doesn't actually happen. Mozart couldn't include them all in his opera. And I think thus the three women that are in the opera represent in a way all these 2,066 women in showing that they are different, in showing that each woman he meets has a different need, has a different background, has a different development and a different outcome. I enjoy Don Anna character-wise more than ever now because of all this under web of lies that she is caught in. The important moment for Don Anna in the second act is the big aria non midir. It's lyrical with long phrases, but then you have the second part of it, all of a sudden with lots of coloratura, with a mini Queen of the Night aria. It's just so fabulously, dramatically written. We try to show through the production that for a long time she thinks Don Giovanni is what she needs. She thinks that's, that's the man that she would love. And then unlike Elvira, she understands in the second act in her big aria that actually he's not the man for me. He was the catalyst I needed. He was the man who needed to show me that I had to break free. Zornana is very romantic. What's happened to Elvira is a completely different situation. And for example, a Fuji, a Fuji Traditore is, is it could be written by Handel. She's going up and down. I mean, she's hope and then despair, and then she's happy because he's coming back, and then, oh, he's betraying her again. She's so passionate. The music is written this way also. She's the only one who has coloraturas and long phrases with, with many ornaments. I mean, this is very specific to her. At the end, she has to understand that the person she loves is someone she can never have, because then she would have to change him, and then that's not the person she loves. The music for Zelina is the music of a peasant girl. Um, she's not, you know, aristocratic like Anna or Elvira, but it's still very sensual. In Bati Bati, I am saying to Mazzetto, I've been such a bad girl, you know, you really need to beat me. By Vedrai Carino, she's just seen her, her husband been beat up by Don Giovanni, and so she feels quite guilty about that. And so I think she's saying, I'm really sorry. So it's much more genuine, and it's such a beautiful, simple tune, and it's, it's a fantastic aria. These characters that De Ponte so well etched in his libretto have all our frailties that have everything that we come across in life. So they're still just as real today as they, they were when they were written.